It's from Nikki D. Ray. I guess it doesn't feel all that bad out there this morning, Nikki D. I know we're going to get warm this afternoon, but do we get a bit of a break a little later this week? We do, and you're right, though. It's all about perspective. Yes, we're warmer than we typically should be when you step outside this morning, but that's the calm before the heat makes a return, and then we do get a break. I think our air conditioners could use it just as much as us. So here's what's going on as far as our drought monitor is concerned. You'll notice we're not looking at anything, even dry conditions in our vicinity, but we haven't had any rainfall in days. So at a glance, it looks as if we are sitting pretty as far as the month of May is concerned, just slightly below normal. But a lot of that rain we had earlier on in the year turned into runoff. Remember the flooding that we had? I mean, it was just all of that water now filters into our lakes and our rivers, which is helpful. That is a benefit for us, but we really need it to soak into the soil. So the rain that is to come will help us out tremendously. Temperatures right now we're coming in 65 degrees right here in Nashville. Yesterday we got all the way up to 91. Didn't break or tie any records, but it was awfully hot. We're going to do that all over again today. When it comes to the power of five radars, we're just picking up a little bit in the way of ground clutter. But if you look off to our west, you are seeing a little bit of activity. This is the reason we've got our high pressure system that has been with us. It's finally breaking down and that's going to allow for winds to pick up a little bit of speed, which that momentum will help stir up the atmosphere and it's going to allow for a chance for some isolated showers. Right now, none of that is with us. We do have some thicker clouds west of I-65 that obviously did hold in your heat. That's why a lot of you are waking up in those upper 60s and 70s. Then you head your way across the plateau. Lack of cloud cover. Beautiful moon though. Temperatures for you a little cooler. You're out 55 in Cookville, 59 in Crossville, as well as McMinnville, Lafayette, right at that 63 degree mark. Winds are still light, but if you look off to our west, they're getting a little bit of speed. That is our future. You will notice a little bit more nice flow as we do head throughout the day. So as far as rain showers are concerned, majority of you will not have a drop today. Areas across the plateau, one or two spotty showers are likely. We head into tomorrow. We're going to have a short wave move in. It's a weak one, but it is enough to bring a chance for some scattered rain showers and even an embedded thunderstorm. These are going to be a very hit and miss situation. You may live over, say, in Thompson Station, and you get an inch, and then you head your way just north or East Franklin, not too far from you, and they don't see a thing. That's how things are really going to pan out. When it comes to threat for potential strong storms, none of that today. Tomorrow's threat really limited areas to our north, one out of five, another one out of five going into our Thursday. The weekend, Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer, actually look at pleasant. Highs today are going to top out 91 degrees at 10% just for a scattered shower or two. Upper 60s tomorrow morning by the afternoon, 86, but with the humidity, it's still going to feel as if we're around that 90 degree mark. We're going to have a pretty decent chance for some scattered rain showers, embedded thunderstorms. Goes down Thursday, pops back up Friday. This is going to be a stronger cold front. And Amy, this cold front not only is going to drop our highs, but it's going to drop our humidity. That's why this weekend is looking lovely with highs. It would blow starting out Saturday, Sunday mornings in the 50s. Oh.